A chilling reminder of what many consider the new normal in America, deadly school shootings, including the one last year in Parkland. It's a new art exhibit, one the curator says is ripped from the headlines. It opened tonight in Fort Lauderdale, and CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live with a look. Amber. Well, good evening to you both. Yes, I'm actually standing right outside Fat Village Studios here in Fort Lauderdale, you guys. And right behind this door is a depiction of how artists see the state of our country. Around 6 o'clock Friday night, I walked into a very unique art exhibition. I'd say shocking, except it's not a surprise. It's reality nowadays. I wish that it weren't. I first passed a statue of a child hiding under a desk. Then my eyes met six female figures, all with personal stories of how they were sexually assaulted. It shouldn't be brushed under the carpet, and we need to speak out. And then the big one in the corner, body bags with toe tags. If somebody can't be moved by this exhibit, they're dead. The show is called Ripped from the Headlines. These are issues that we're all hearing about, reading about, reacting to every day. Sexual assault and gun reform were among the many topics portrayed in each exhibit. Rolando Chang Barrero created body bags with toe tags after the Sandy Hook and Parkland shootings. While we're busy debating on which side of the argument we're standing on, uh, children are dying. He used real body bags. The sizes differ depending on the age of the child. He says his exhibit, like the many others, are not meant to frighten you. They're supposed to scare you into action. Uh, we have to be able to, to at least sort the bodies later if we're not going to take care of the issue. Back out here live in Fort Lauderdale. Now, the curator tells me tomorrow, Manuel Oliver, the father of slain Parkland student Joaquin Oliver, will be here between 6 and 9 to paint a mural in his son's honor. For now, we're live in Fort Lauderdale. Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight.